Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more project ideas and tutorials. If you want to use your Cricut like a pro, you're going to need to get comfortable using the tools and design space. With so many different ones, it can be confusing at first. Today I'm going to walk you through a couple tools so that by the end of this video, you feel prepared to give them a try on your own. I'm going to walk you through the main tools used in Design Space, which are Attach, Weld, Group, and Ungroup. For today's project, I'm going to make a nice little cake topper. So we'll just add our writing, go ahead and click on text, and put in whatever you'd like on your cake topper to say. Mine is going to say Hello 30. So I'm just going to change this font so that it's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to change the font and I'm going to use Buttercup. So just go ahead and click on that. I got this one from Defont. So you're going to notice that the spacing between these letters is pretty big. So what we're going to do is go to Letter Space here and we're just going to make that a bit smaller. With this font, I probably could just make them all touching if I kept bringing down the letter space, but I'm gonna do it the other way today because I wanna show you how to use the ungroup and group function. So what we're going to do now is click on the word and then over on the right hand side, it says ungroup. So just go ahead and click on that. Now what this is going to do is take apart each single letter. So instead of one whole word, now it is just individual letters. And what this is good for is pulling them over. So if you want your first letter to be a little bit larger, that's something you can do and just kind of move them around however you like them. So right now my word is split up into five different sections and my maker basically thinks it's five different pictures. So what I'm gonna do is just highlight all of my layers and then I'm going to group them back together. So now I'm gonna go up on the right hand side and click group. And this is basically putting the word back together. I can pull it and drag it and the whole thing is back together. This is perfect for repositioning and lining it up if you have more pictures. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the number 30 for my cake topper here. I'll just make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see and pull it down. And I don't really like this font for my number so I'm just going to highlight it, click on font, and I'm gonna pick Alga for this one. Right now these numbers are too far apart and they need a little fine tuning to make sure that the numbers are touching the hello. So this is the right time to use ungroup. Just highlight 30 and click ungroup in the corner. And now you can just drag them and line them up exactly how you want them. Using the ungroup is nice because I can change the size of just the one number. And that looks good. I'm done designing, I'm happy with how it looks, and now I'm ready to make it. I'll just select the three and the zero and group them back together so I can show you what happens in the next step. And as you can see, when I move it, they're stuck together on the Design Space main page. So these group and ungroup tools are perfect when you're designing your image, but they do have a limitation, and I'll show you what that is now when I go and click Make It. When we go to the mat, you'll notice that the word has separated and the letters are all individual. Grouping and ungrouping is very useful in the designing stage, but when we wanna to go to the make it stage, we're actually gonna to have to use a different tool. That brings us to attach. Over on the right, just select any layers that you want to keep together. And then down at the bottom right, just click attach. When we are designing, attach and group seem pretty similar. They both hold my letters together, but the main difference between attach and group is when we click on make it. Right away, you'll notice that the design is how we like it. It looks the same as it did in Design Space and it's all stuck together. It's kind of hard to tell with black, but when I zoom in, you're gonna notice there's a little line here. Your machine is going to cut this line and the finished product is going to be every single letter cut apart, even though they're placed together on the mat. To fix this problem, we just need one more tool and that brings us to Weld. Highlight everything that you want to stick together. So in this case, again, it's going to be the whole word hello and the number 30. Now I want my machine to cut this out as one solid picture. So down at the bottom, we're going to click on weld. Now that we've clicked weld, all the pictures on the right hand side have merged into one. And when I go to click make it, it will print it out as one complete image. Everything is stuck together here. I can't take anything apart. And all of those little cut lines between the letters are gone. Just remember to wait to use the weld button until you're completely done your design because you cannot reverse a weld. Once you've done that, it is stuck together and you cannot take it apart anymore. For this project, weld was the right tool for the job. 
but let's just summarize the four so that you know which tool to use for your own projects at home. We looked at ungroup and group, attach and weld today. First up is ungroup. This one takes the word apart so that you can isolate one letter so you can move it or change its size. Once you're happy how everything looks, you can group them back together. This is going to keep the letters together so you can move them, you can reposition the whole word or turn it, but this will not keep the letters together when you're cutting on the mat. If you want to keep things together, you're going to use attach. This keeps the letters or images together so you can move them or change their size, just like group, but when you cut on the mat, they will stay together. If you have any text on here, your Cricut is still going to cut each letter individually. This is fine for printing, but if you have any script fonts or handwriting, then it's a problem because you want your letters to flow evenly instead of being cut apart. And finally, we have Weld. Weld will take all of your layers and stick them together to make one seamless image. This is perfect when you're cutting, but you're not going to be able to make any changes after. So you wanna make sure that you are completely happy with everything before you click the Weld button because you cannot undo it. Well, I hope this video gave you some clarity on when to use each of the tools and that your next project is a complete success. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Videos come out twice a week for project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.